Is Ukraine suddenly winning the war? Is Russia retreating and withdrawing its forces? Media reports suggest that shocked by Ukraine's counteroffensive, Russian President Vladimir Putin has ordered his troops to vacate the Kharkiv region of Ukraine. Ukrainian officials claim to have recaptured some 270 square miles of land from Russian occupiers. Frankly speaking, this development is astonishing as well as startling. How come Russia, the second mightiest military power in the world, is suddenly losing land to the tiny army of Ukraine? It is highly likely that Putin has a card up his sleeve that the world doesn't know about. Actually, Putin might be setting the distraction strategy in motion to go for bigger targets and deal a life-threatening blow to Ukraine. Firstly, the sudden recapture of land by the Ukrainian forces is a big morale booster for the nation. This is a matter of national pride for Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. So, Ukraine will now have to safeguard the additional so-called liberated territories with additional troops and military assets. For a cash-strapped Ukraine, maintaining its hold over the recaptured territories will be a Herculean task. Secondly, this will also weaken Ukraine's current defense regime. Ukraine will have to scatter its troops in the area. Once troops are spread across a larger portion of land, they become easier to deal with. They can be easily targeted and penetrated. This has really made Ukraine and its capital city of Kyiv vulnerable to Russian assault. Needless to mention that Russia has cannons and missiles already pointed at Kyiv. In fact, last month, Ukraine decided to call off Independence Day celebrations in Kyiv due to fears of Russian missile attacks. Another interesting factor is that meanwhile Russia withdraws its troops from Kharkiv, it is said to have amassed troops in neighboring Belarus. So, in an all-out war scenario, while Russia can strafe Kyiv with its missiles, its troops stationed in Belarus can easily recapture the lost lands. Lastly, Russia is not new to such destruction strategies. In the beginning of the war, when Russia was still to capture Donbas, it launched minor attacks on Kyiv in the north and Odessa in the south. When the panic-stricken troops of Ukraine rushed to Kyiv in Odessa, Donbas was left unguarded and Russia was quick to unfurl its flag there. So in the current scenario, when Ukrainian troops are rushing to liberate Kharkiv, they might end up making things easier for Russia to lay siege to the capital city. And once Kyiv falls, the war will end with a resounding Russian victory over NATO and EU. Putin is a master geopolitician and there is a reason why Russia has not been making aggressive advancements in Ukraine for over the last three months. And now when Russia is taking one step backwards in the Ukraine war, it must be preparing to pounce upon the enemy. So Ukraine must refrain from celebrating too early and it should keep the warning bells ringing to avoid any sudden catastrophe. With every day passing, the fear that Kyiv could fall any time to Russia keeps getting even stronger. This is the calm before the storm. What do you think about the video? Leave a comment in the comment box and subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos on geopolitics.